Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. See the Sutta that lies within, and we are going to record now the 27th March of a godly blessing where the Supreme God Father wants us to make plans of serving with a very plain intellect. Now, what is a plain intellect? That's what we're going to explore over here. And plain intellect is very clean, very pure, and very refined. And you can even catch the thoughts of how God wants you to serve humanity. How do you do that? For that, you'll have to take the seven day course of Brahma Kumaris and learn the complete knowledge and make yourself purer from within with the power of meditation and knowledge. Let's go ahead. In the heading Baba says, may you make service plans with a plain intellect as a real server. A real server is one who does self service and serves everyone at the same time. If I have got anger, I cannot ask you to remove anger. If I have got ego, I cannot ask you to remove ego. I even can't tell you how to do it, right? So I have to serve myself first. That means I have to clean my intellect. I have to clean my complete heart. I have to heal myself completely. Then I'll be able to heal anybody else. If the doctor himself is having back issues, how can he tell you how to remove your back issues? So let self-service be merged in your serving everyone. Let it not be that you go to serve others and become careless in serving your own self. That means you're giving all the time and helping other souls but you don't have yourself recharged. You're not taking care of yourself. Taking care of yourself doesn't mean over here eat, sleep, drink, marry. No. So God says while doing service, let there be service and yoga at the same time. That means you're connected to supreme being and at the same time you're serving other souls. For this have a plain intellect as you make service plans. A plain intellect means that nothing should touch your intellect. Nothing impure, nothing doubtful, nothing nothing negative should touch your thoughts. Just have the consciousness of being an instrument and of being humble. I am an instrument, God is using me. Do not desire to have any limited name or limited respect, but be humble. That means if I am looking for any kind of name and fame, I won't be able to serve others because I will be able to give only if I am receiving from the other side. I will be able to help somebody only if somebody is praising me. I will be able to help someone and guide them if they are speaking highly of me. If they don't do so, I will be feeling negative. I won't have the power. That means I am not connected to God. I am seeking love from them and I am not getting it from God. So there is a disconnect from there. And there is an expectation while serving from other souls. And that makes us feel depleted and depleted and depleted and we feel like, why should I serve this person? What has he done for me? So God then says, just have the consciousness of being an instrument and of being humble. Do not desire to have any limited name or limited respect. Limited name or limited respect means somebody praises you for a while for, for what you have done and you feel very elevated and next time when they don't praise you, you feel down or you are speaking unwell about them, you are speaking ill about them because they do not give you that respect which they gave you last time or they did not appreciate you. That is what God says that don't expect limited respect and limited name. But be humble. This is the seed of good wishes and pure feelings. The seed of it, that means you can only serve souls when you are not desiring limited anything for yourself. And then only you can have pure feeling and pure wishes for others. Check out yourself. Whenever you do something for somebody and they don't appreciate you, how do you feel? Do you still have pure feelings? Do you still have pure wishes? If you are able to do so, then you are at a certain higher level of spirituality. How do you do that if you are not able to do it? How do you learn to do that? How do you have that cleanliness within? Is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You too can come ahead and learn the 7 day course where we learn all these basics. With this, Om Shanti.